Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from Nephleon Wigs. I will have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. The wig that I received is a 10 inch pixie. The texture is curly. It is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. The density is 150% and it does come with highlights. So the wig cap construction includes four combs and an adjustable strap. This wig does come as a side part with bangs and where the bangs are is where the highlights are. So the knots of this wig are not bleached. That's the first alteration that I'm going to do to this wig off camera. And here's how the wig looks when you first take it out of the package and you place it straight onto your head. Me personally, I wasn't a huge fan of the hairstyling straight out of the package and I knew immediately that I wanted to cut the wig shorter so that it could be more of a wedge cut and more of a actual pixie haircut. What happened to this side? <laughs> what happened to that side? So I know it's going to take some doctoring up, but I'm ready for the challenge. So it seems as if the bangs of the wig or the frontal portion of this wig is a looser wave and then the back is more of a wave as well. I'm going for a curly pixie so I'm going to have to use my perm rods to get the curl and hairstyle that I'm looking for. So I got a chance to bleach the knots off camera. Now it's time to remove some of this extra density from the hairline. I want the hairline to be thinner and then gradually fade into a thicker density. So I am going to pluck the hairline by doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting. Okay, so now that I am finished plucking the hairline, it's time to tint the lace. I'll be using two different colors of lace tint. The first is the color of my foundation, which I'll be spraying along the hairline. And the other color is the color of my scalp, which I'll be spraying in the inner portion of the lace front. I'll be doing two layers of each lace tint and then blow drying in between each layer. Okay, so I don't think the shape of the wig is bad. However, I do want it to be a little bit shorter and I want it to be much more curly. And I'm not that much a fan of the side bangs being so long. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit. So my vision for this wig is to have a longer top so that I can have bangs and shorter sides. And in order to do that, I had to section out the middle portion of the wig, just pin that out of the way so that I can focus on cutting down the left and right sides. So I did section off an even amount. So it's four inches across the forehead that I basically pinned out of the way. And it is even because there are four inches on the left side of the head and four inches on the right side of the head. So I want to make sure that I am taking my time and cutting the left and right sides of this wig identically so that when I get to the middle section that is pinned off, that will be the hair with the most length. And I'll have more versatility because it's longer in the front. So if I wanna do like a front bang, I can do that. If I wanna do a side bang, I can do that. If I wanna do like a, a flip over, I could do that. Hair out of my face, I can do that. But it's important for me to section off the hair that is the longest so that I won't confuse myself as I'm cutting. I'm gonna take my time and really shape this wig. I can show you guys better than I can explain it, so keep watching.
here is the final wedge cut that I came up with. I'm obsessed, of course. I love the fact that it gradually gets longer. So it's shorter in the back and then gradually gets longer as you get to the top. The sides do have long sideburns. So of course I could do my cute little baby hairs on that side. And yes, the thing about when you have an inverted wedge cut like this, you can get creative with the different hairstyles. So I am using perm rods today and I'll be taking a section of hair and then using my smallest perm rods in the back and then gradually changing the size of perm rods as I get to the top of the head. So after I recorded this footage, I realized that I didn't want the curls in the front to be that big. So I ended up switching out the greenish blue ones in the front with the salmon colored perm rods. Okay, so it's the next morning. The hair is fully dry and it's now time to remove these perm rods. So after installing this wig using got to be ultra glue gel here is the final look thank you so much for watching i did get a chance to experiment with different hairstyles i was inspired to do like a bun a top of half down hairstyle with this short cut as well as two space buns and i loved all of them i did like a out of my face type of hairstyle i did a bunch of different looks with this pixie cut and i think it looks super natural let's chat about it down below in the comment section don't forget to leave your comments down below and give this video a thumbs up before you leave i'll have all of the information the promo codes and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box so don't forget to check down below for more information if this is your first time on my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a huge thumbs up as well as turn on the post notification bell. And I can't wait to see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right. Right, right.